So welcome. Today's video, I am at Otter Creek. Now this creek here is stocked with trout, but right now it'll be a video on how to not catch fish because we don't think there's much in here. So nothing's really biting. Normally the favorite bait used here is power bait. That's not really working. I hear a couple, ooh, there are a few in here. I hear them jumping, but it's probably fished out since they stopped. Uh, I'm trying some worms now. Just to see if maybe, maybe there's a stray tr trout here or there, but it's not too much. I'm thinking about driving on base. May stay here a few more minutes, another half hour. And just give it a shot. I'd like to just I've never used worms here to try to catch the trout, but mostly it's been all power bait. That's what they like, but right now they're not hitting nothing. The favorite power bait was uh, was that rainbow power bait with glitter in it. They love that, but trusty Walmart hasn't had none in weeks. So, I do have orange and yellow, but they don't seem to like those colors. here for the spiting. I don't even know what these are called. We get rid of the moss. So I don't know what these little ugly fish are called right here. But it's really a ugly little thing. It's got a big mouth. And it swallowed the whole thing. So Kind of like don't even want to touch it. It looks mean. And he really got my. He really swallowed the hook. So we're gonna have to do a little operation just to get the hook out of this dude's mouth. Needed to get a towel. It's very hot. Humid today. It's cloudy. But humid. So I like to say we'll try this for a little bit. Then we'll go on base to the lake there. Maybe. So I think we will wrap this up. Go drive on Fort Knox to a lake called um, uh, Upper and Lower Douglas. So we're gonna try that out. That's probably more exciting. Don't think there's many more trout here, so let's pack it up. But here's a little view of the area. There's an old pumping station there. They even put some porta potties out there for us to use and places to wash your hands. That's neat. But the river here, you can only fish here and I think two meters up or down the stream in each direction. That's it. So Although there may be trout all over the river, you're only allowed to fish in a certain part because the game wardens 
will come around and they will check that everybody has a license. Here you have to be part of the military to fish here. So you got to be active or retired military to fish here. The general population cannot fish here, which is nice. We pay for it. They keep it stocked. Can't ask for no better than that. And it's relatively clean, except all the bird shit. Lots of geese. So, we're gonna pack it up and take a little drive. And we'll check in again. Bye now. So, this is what the drive looks like. have made it on Fort Knox. <clears throat> this is a little bit what uh, the base looks like. If we're lucky, we may see a little wildlife running across the road. And it's a little stream over here to the left. Mostly I've just seen a ton of little fish. But if they're little fish, there's got to be big fish. It's right there. Water looks a little low. Yeah, the video may be a little bouncy. Because I'm holding it on the selfie stick. And driving. Then we go uphill here. And there's a deer. I don't know if you can see him. Just standing there looking, now he's gone. Don't want to hit them. You have deer, squirrels, wild turkeys run out in front of you here. Who oh, no. knows? Spot. You get to see that 
inside of the Jeep. So we're gonna turn here and go off road again. I'm about right over there fishing, which is pretty good. There's a lot of moss here in the water. Just only just afraid of going over there because there's a big hill you have to come down. It's pretty bumpy. Huge rocks. Knock my head off. And if it's the slightest bit wet and it's been raining today, you won't make it out of there. So I don't think that's a good chance. So I'm gonna try a little fishing here. So let me get set up and I'll be back.
like this better because it floats. bigger than the other one I got so little pan sized fish
thing I'm doing. Whoa. <laughs> Trying not to get myself thin. So I need to knock him out. So. size perch. He was just hanging in underneath the moss. That's good. We got some meat tonight. This is a nice size one. for the car.
close this out. I have a total of three catfish now and about seven perch. And they just quit biting for about the last. Catfish had to knock them out and put them in the thing, but I got two fairly nice sized perch and, and some five smaller ones. So that's meal. Two fairly big catfish. The third one was smaller. It looks like everything just quit biting. So I'm wrapping it up. Weather is really getting cool, but it's still not raining, so it's time to go home. Go home and clean the fish. So, put bait on there anyway, so I'm fishing for nothing. So, it was a good day fishing. Didn't really fish that long. Probably got 20 pounds of fish in my freezer. So probably tell my friends, let's have a let's have a fish fry. Because I can't eat all of that. I'll, I think I got maybe eight catfish in the freezer already, plus the three. About 20 something perch, plus I'm gonna add some more to it. So so we got enough fish. say if it ain't too windy the wind knocked the camera over so see it's very windy on the lake very windy here bad clouds coming push over my uh, table here my chair keeps flying over so it's time to go thanks everybody for watching bye now